All right, guys, it's pretty much the end of the season, so here's what we got planned for over winter. So we have a few things planned. Um, number one, we're gonna try to get this thing a little bit lighter. Uh, I would like to see it in the 2800 pound range. So we're gonna go pretty extreme. We're gonna do something that I normally would suggest against, but since I'm not gonna have a passenger seat in the car, um, I'm gonna be getting rid of the carpet, the sound deadening, headliner, uh, the passenger seat, also the passenger side airbag. Once again, I don't normally condone that. I was gonna be like, okay, I'll swap out the driver's, you know, steering wheel and whatnot, but. I'd still like to have some safety feature in the vehicle. So I'm gonna keep the driver's airbag and driver's steering wheel. And once again, guys, the airbag removal on this vehicle, um, it's, it's going to be for track use only. It's not gonna be one of those things where I'm gonna be driving this thing everywhere, uh, especially with a passenger. I will not have a passenger in here with no airbag. So there will not even be a seat, not even the option for it, <clears throat> just for a safety standpoint for the other person. So. I will have my airbag still, hopefully it still works. I don't know if they're in series wired or it's parallel, but what I do know is I'll still have my safety feature. Um, but it, if it's gonna be a vehicle that you're driving on the street and you're gonna have a passenger seat, don't do it. We also have a couple of more things. As you can see, you got a brand new uh, Ford Performance uh, intake manifold. That wide band of mine, that auto meter, um, it doesn't play too well with the SCT software. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap that out for an AEM unit. Uh, the UEGO, it's a 30-4110. Uh, I'm gonna use that because it already has the formulation in the handheld that will read actual air fuel ratio instead of just picking up on voltage. And now my main reason for doing that is the simple fact that I don't wanna keep plugging in the voltage formula into the data logging table because it's confusing to me. I'm still learning how to tune. Um, Don Lasota did my bass tune on there and got me running great, but I know I can make some more tweaks and everything, especially for my area, you know, my density, my altitude. So um, I'm gonna take it a little step further, but to do that, I wanna get rid of any and every little complication I can, and that's going to be swapping to a different wideband controller. Also, yes. The torque converter will be going in in the spring. The reason it hasn't been done yet is because behind this car, there is an engine and transmission already for my son's car that we're building right now. So I've got my hands pretty full. I've got a lot of irons in the fire around here. And with that being said, that's what we're up to over the winter time. Just getting everything prepped, making sure everything's good to go for next year. We're gonna take this thing out, have some real fun with it, try to get to the actual race track and unleash this thing. I really want to see what it does in A. And I've also got a 100 shot tune, so that's something else that's on the table after we get it running right in A. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and I can't wait for spring. I'm really kind of stoked. These next few months are gonna suck. <laughs>